neither side of the ideological spectrum is exempt from intolerance. True. And there have been some very notable high profile stories in the last few months about in the interest of, if you will, liberalism, if you will, we've seen really terrible, dis you know, di we've seen an unraveling of liberal democracy, specifically on college campuses, where, where scholars and, and, and look, ugly speakers who I don't like, who I don't like, have been chased off of campus or physically threatened. That situation at Middlebury College with Charles Murray, again, I, I am hard pressed to call him a scholar whose, whose research I want to read. Nonetheless, the fact that this man had to be physically protected from a mob is not something any of us, not something that any of us should think is okay. Now, somebody here, maybe it was Jeff Rakes yesterday, talked about we don't need safe spaces, we need brave spaces. Mm. I think we need to have the confidence in our own, you know, in our young people to allow even, again, ugly points of view to be heard. The problem is that, or the challenge is that, and it's a challenge for which our teachers need to be prepared, and as adults, we need to be sort of trained to be able to negotiate the line between when is it okay to present a challenging idea and when are you challenging somebody's right to be, to be heard, right, based on some immutable characteristic. So this is a little bit like Oliver Wendell Holmes, you know it when you see it, and it requires a degree of judgment, but it, judgment means opening yourself up in listening with, with earnestness, right, with real curiosity and not ruling down to shut down other points I, of view. I,